What's up everybody, at Dustin Depp here, and we've got the uh, <coughs> the UK set up for the new Pebble smartwatch. I just received this today, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to pair it with the iPhone 5, as you can see here. So, let's go ahead. It says to, literally when you open the box, this is all you get, is the Bluetooth hit symbol to the smartwatch. There's actually no instructions whatsoever. Um, there's only four buttons on the smartwatch, so let's just hit one of them here and see if we can get it on. There it goes. Pebble. It says install and run Pebble app. So I'm going to go to the app store here and go ahead and download the Pebble app. <coughs> if you just search for Pebble, should come up. Let's see here. There it is. Very first app that comes up. Go ahead and install. Um, it's a red app. Looks just like the, uh, the smartwatch on the front there. It's not a very big file, so it shouldn't take too long. We're already about halfway downloaded. As you can see here, the watch just says on it, Install and Run Pebble App. And then it's got a website on it that says go.getpebble.com. Okay, the app is ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to open that up here. It says hello. Um, let's go to the get started. It says get started by pairing your mobile device with Pebble. Go to settings, Bluetooth, switch Bluetooth on, and tap Pebble pairing. So let's go to settings here. <coughs> Bluetooth on. Um, there it is, Pebble PB16 is what mine comes up as. Pair. Allow. Oh, there you go. It says new software update available for the Pebble. So let's go ahead and it goes straight into the thing. <clears throat> software updates available. Let's go ahead and update now. So it's actually updating the Pebble software now right on the watch. It says that it's at, oh, it says it's updating 2%, 3%, 4%. So it's showing the actual update on the watch itself. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take that long. It's already up to 17%. It's actually quite hard to read the uh, the screen on this phone or on this on this watch. Let's go ahead and pull that off and see if that helps any. Yeah, that helps a lot actually. Um, yeah, as you can see though, the the screen is very very reflective. But due to it being that e-ink screen, you can still pretty well see it in, from from most angles. If you pull it to the side and stuff like that, it's, it's hard to read. But as you can see, you can see it there. Um, it's about halfway done with the update. It says improved backlight control, notification pop-ups, now time out after three minutes, bug fixes, and much more. So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and let it update here and see what all it does. I've got pretty fast Wi-Fi here, so this is probably about as fast as you're going to get it updated because it is updating over Bluetooth. There it goes. Update 100%. Um, now it just says loading. Oh, I'm done. So we'll go ahead and click done here. It says PB16 disconnected. Or Pebble BB16 disconnected. The watch still says loading, though. So hopefully it's... There it goes. Connected. Caller ID. Um, welcome. You've just updated your Pebble to version 1.8.1. Let's go ahead and allow it. So you click on all these notifications to require setup. Um, this guide will help you set up the SMS notifications. Swipe right to proceed. All steps take place in the settings app. Swipe right to proceed. Um, in the Bluetooth next to Pebble. So you're going to click the little arrow. You're going to put switch to show notifications to on so <clears throat> let's go ahead and go to the settings uh, click on that then we'll go ahead and show notifications to on now let's go ahead and go back to the pebble app and it says go back and open the notifications section so you open it you'll go down to messages badges and alerts and you're gonna click on Scroll down and make sure view and lock screen is on. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure I've already got that on, but we'll have a look. Scroll all the way back. Notifications. Um, messages. View and lock screen is on. Go back to the Pebble thing. Um, repeat this for other apps and accounts. This guide is available. Go get Pebble.com. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it. So the stuff you want to show up on your phone or on your actual Pebble watch, you just need to go and hit uh, show in in lock screen and that's how you'll actually get it on your Pebble. As you can see right here, it says you just updated your Pebble to version 1.8.1. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get out of there. Oh, four, five. So there it is. Four, six. Um, uh, let's go ahead and go to the actual ping received. Okay. Back. Let's go to this. Let's go to select watch faces. I'd like to change my watch face here. <laughs> As you can see, there's quite a few watch faces on here you can do. 947, big time, 12. Oh, it shows you 12 hour and 24 hour. There's a tic-tac-toe screen on here. Um, I actually thought there was more watch faces than that. Select watch faces. Let's just install the regular big time 24 hour clock. See how that works out. Okay, you've got the, um, the couple of buttons here on the actual Pebble watch. So, right now it says text watch, fuzzy time, classic analog, and if you use the three buttons here on the side, the up and down button is how you go to change it. Music, set alarm, your settings, oh, there's the, there's the new big time 24, so if I just click on that, <clears throat> there you go, it shows you 1607. So if I want to go back home to change that, uh, you just hit the button on the, uh, right here, on this side of the watch, you can go up and change it back to any of the times you'd like. I like the text watch myself, 4-8. I wish it didn't say it like that, though. I wish it was in 24-hour time. I think that would be a lot cooler, to be honest with you. Let's go back. Fuzzy time. Let's check that out. 10 after 4. Mm, don't really like that one. You got your classic analog, which that's pretty cool. It's got the second hand on it. Music. Oh yeah, there is, there's my latest music. Let's go ahead and hit play. Oh, so it starts playing. Let's see, change it. Pause it. You can set your alarm right from the watch. Create a new alarm. <clears throat> Settings. Bluetooth, day and time, display, about, shutdown, factory reset. So you've got all your different settings there. And to go back, you just hit this, this button here again. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much your pebble watch set alarm music classic analog fuzzy time text watch i think the text watch is the coolest four nine so i guess it's uh let's make sure what time it is yeah so it's four oh nine so four nine it's all right i wish it would say sixteen nine maybe i don't know a bit weird the way it does that i don't know if you guys can see it let's see if we can so you just hit that button right here, the middle button to turn on the backlight. Doesn't last on very long, but you guys can read it. So there it is, that's your Pebble smartwatch. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll give you guys a full review after maybe a couple days of wearing it, see how I like it. But if you guys have any questions about it or anything, anything you guys want to know, let me know. At Dustin Depp. Thanks, bye.